6 sigma. Alright? Now we understood the statistical meaning of 6 sigma yesterday. What was that? Standard. 6 standard deviation plus and minus from mean should fit within the specification limit. And who is going to decide specification limit? Customer. Customer, Customer decide. What maximum he want that is upper specification limit. What minimum he want that's called Lower. lower specification limit, right? Like I was giving example of uh, Pizza Hut. If I say Pizza Hut, they say 30 minute delivery else free, correct? Yes. Now in case, in case of Pizza Hut, when I say 30 minutes, is that an upper or lower? Lower specification limit or upper specification? Upper. Upper. It's upper specification limit. Another thing that we talk about that you have to score at least 80%. That's lower or upper specification limit? It's uh, at least lower. Oh. Lower. Because below than that is a defect. So start thinking that is it minimum or maximum requirement. Okay. So now we're going to discuss about Six Sigma definition. How we need to understand what is a Six Sigma. Everybody talk that okay, Six Sigma, this, philosophy and all these. I'll just put it in few bullets. That's it. Okay, I call Six Sigma as a process, I call Six Sigma as a management strategy, I call it as a culture, matrix, and set of tools. That's it, nothing more. And actually, if you look at this, cover your entire Six Sigma. Okay, right. First thing is Six Sigma as a process. What is process? All right. I uh, still remember somebody, uh, one of my students, he joined a company in Dubai and before that he just called me saying that okay should I join or not I was surprised I, I said you got a good opportunity why you are asking like that he said if I join there after two years I will be doing all improvement and they, then they would not require me they will just fire me so do you agree with this statement what is it so you mean that once the improvement happened and after that, you would not require to be there, which is wrong. You know why? Which one was your first cell phone? Nokia. Nokia. Asma, which one was your first cell phone? Nokia. Great. Even mine too. Okay? Yep. So that was the first cell phone. And we never thought that we'll have a cell phone which will have touch screen, this, and so many megapixel, MP3, radio, and all these, and now it is there. Now, one thing is called delivery, okay, delivering the existing product, which means if you are delivering, if you have a Nokia 1100, you need to make sure the quality doesn't go down, it's a stain. Second thing is called development, which is very, very important, right? So let's say after that, Asma started using different phone, which was the second phone, Asma? Redmi, thanks. So now Redmi is the second phone which she is using. Now Redmi when it came, nobody thought that some phone will come which will have these many megapixel, clarity, this touch screen, so many memories and all these, right? But it came. And the development started at least five years back. You don't think that they just launched it. Five years back they started that it came, okay? After five years, what will be the people requirement? What will be the, you know, competition and mindset and so on they started developing those things right that's called development development never stop innovation never stop and because of that six sigma implementation never stops i'll give you another example i remember when uh, several years back when i was um, you know i was giving my form i was supposed to courier my form actually that time post office was only one option and that was my NDA form that's for army officer and that was the last day I gone there around 11.30 when I reached there it was a big queue at least 25 people were standing there in a queue and by the time my turn could come they said sorry time is over you come tomorrow and I was like oh my god what to do now then somehow next day I reached there at 7 o'clock and I, finally I got my number but today, if I see a few days back, I go into post office speed post counter, I hardly see four or five people are standing there. What is that now? Change. Innovation. Customer demand is changing. 
Correct? And similarly, we also have to, in order to sustain in a market, we have to change, innovate, continuously improve. Delivery cannot be only one thing. Another beautiful example that reminds me, one of my friends, you know, he got a lot of money in, uh, in, in Dori. Okay? He purchased one lorry that time. Immediately after 5-6 months, he purchased another lorry and that was his trend that every 5 months, he used to purchase one one lorry. One day he had more than 50 lorries and the surprise is, when I meet with him after 5 years and I see that he started selling the lorry, I said, what happened? He said, the day is gone man. The day is gone when money used to make money, now the mind is making money. Now, when you reach customer demand, that makes money. So do you get the message when it is, it is written that pre-approved loan? Do you get that? Yes. Pre-approved loan, please call on this number. Do you get that? Yes. But if I remember first time when my dad said that, okay, Niren, we got a loan approved, let's go and purchase the car. I'm so happy. I said, okay, let's go tomorrow. Dad said, no, 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 loan got approved. But by the time it comes to our account, it takes one more year. <laughs> that was like shocking. But now it is, we get a call, okay, pre-approved loan, this much amount is already approved. So, money is not a concern now. Innovation is a concern. And that's where Six Sigma will help to develop that process. Okay? So, Six Sigma is a process that helps you to continuously meet your product, which, which can sustain, you know, customer demand and give a quantum gain in a quality okay that's one point as a process so just two things what is that development and delivering a near perfect product which can give the quantum gain in a quality as well second point I would call as Six Sigma as a management strategy okay what is management strategy now what is the difference between strategy and Operation. That's again a question. Very interesting point. Yeah? Well, you have any idea you want to talk about operation? No? Operations. I'll talk about this. Post office. The moment letter comes, postman will see address. He will go and deliver it. He does the same job every day. And that's called operation. When you travel by train, you see TT, he come, he check your ticket. That's all. That's called operation. Now, if I see somewhere, most of us are also just doing operation. That means, we wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. By 7, we'll be in office. By 4, we'll go back. We watch TV. We just eat, sleep. That's it. Are we doing something new? Are we focusing on the strategy? May not be. What is the strategy meaning that as well? Strategy is your planning with a certain timeline, with certain objective, which is nowhere. You agree with me? We, we did a research along with me. Um, one doctor was there. He is now um, head of uh, one of the university here. So we did a research for three countries. In fact, it was four countries, India, China, Singapore, okay, and US of course. What we found <laughs> is, in other countries, once you get into job, okay, once you get into job, at least 15% are those people who go for the further study. But when we did a comparison with India, it was just 0.15. Because... The moment we get a job, we immediately think, oh, we got a job, now no further study required. We hardly focus. Do you agree with me? Yeah? Yeah? Once we get into job, we don't think that, okay, it is required. And we just think, okay, let's continue with that. But just think about it. Who are we? Are we a physical worker or knowledge worker? Tell me. No, we are knowledge worker. We are not a physical worker, okay? Physical worker means a person who does not require any brain. If I ask him, okay, go pick it, keep it here. That's it. That's called physical worker. 
you are a knowledge worker because you need to have a knowledge to do assembly of the fiber optic cable correct agree with me if you don't have the iti skills if you don't have those kind of knowledge can you do that you can't so that is called knowledge worker so how we are getting salary because we have that knowledge of assembling a cable you agree with me or making the sensor true now if we are getting salary by just learning iti why can't we probably do some more course some more certification some more learning so that we get more and more salary more and more money more and more business that's what i'm trying to say make a strategy for your life as well not only for your work okay make a strategy where you want to be after 5 years where you want to be after 10 years and where you want to be for the 6 month how much goal you want to achieve in your life that is also very very important okay and it's not you know because i wouldn't blame it to people and ourselves it's the kind of culture we have if you see you know i saw uh, one small kid 6 month you have uh, something a tradition called anprasha right right so that time the people ask okay what do you want to be you will become doctor engineer or what have you heard anybody is asking will you become a businessman no absolutely not correct because they think okay businessman means risk innovation which is not a good thing so we have to be innovative we need to make a strategy if we don't have strategy we cannot grow we'll be obsolete like you know other companies if we don't do that so strategy is very very important means a planning with the objective with the goal where we want to be in certain time and it can be with the organization as well if organization does not have it like there are many company if you know iti and other company government company indian telecom industry like that no more right but we need to have that okay strategy and that's where six sigma play a vital role in order to develop strategy right third thing is culture very interesting what is culture now it changes the mindset the way we look at each and every aspect each and every task one of my student he joined a company a japanese company and uh, his break time was somewhere around 11 o'clock okay and he started switching system at 10:50 10:50 he said he comes he asked that you what's wrong why you're going why you're switching off system he said sir i have to go for a break at 11 o'clock he said but it is not 11 o'clock he somehow controlled himself and then it was 11 o'clock immediately stopped the system and he gone for a break 11 to 11:15 was the break time and till 11:15 he was in cafeteria his md was asking okay you finished it come on come back to work he said no sir at 11:15 i have a legal break now once 11:15 is over he slowly start moving to his work station and by the time he reaches it is already 11:10 yeah when i say 11:10 then his md called him that 10 minute later 10 minute previous 20 minute if you waste and similarly if everybody waste in india the loss of this is more than a terrorist attack in india do you know that if everybody stop working for 20 minute every day the loss and the impact on the economy is huge we have to think on those lines so six sigma bring that kind of culture and that kind of mindset right that's why i call it as six sigma as a culture in the organization last two things and very small is a matrix what is matrix now i look at my process how good it is instead of looking in a percentage which does not give me a very very uh, you know in depth understanding or the clarity of it because 99 or 99.99 or 99.97 or 99.9997 people might think oh, it is similar but it does a huge there's a huge difference right so if i say six sigma as a matrix you can calculate and you can see where your process is working are you at three sigma are you at four sigma are you at five sigma your sigma level if you remember if you are at sigma level 5 means how many defects per million opportunity 233 right if you are at 6 sigma 3.4 3.4 excellent excellent so that is what the matrix is all about and the last 
is set of tools. That means when you say Six Sigma, it has all set of tools that are used in hospital or NASA or any kind of industry, even the army as well, big time. Okay? So those tools, couple of them you'll get to know today and couple of them you'll get to know in, in the further courses when you go for a higher study. So that's all about the Six Sigma. I'll quickly summarize. Six Sigma is a process which helps us to develop and deliver a near perfect product to meet the customer requirement and quantum gain in quality. Six Sigma is a management strategy. Six Sigma is a culture, metrics, set of tools and the overall strategy of Six Sigma is to reduce variation because the variation is not at all acceptable anywhere and the variation lead to a big loss to organization because it will reduce defect okay right that's all any question for this